Welcome everyone. In this tutorial, I'd like to walk you through the steps required to create a VPN tunnel between a Phoenix Contact TC router and a Phoenix Contact TCM guard. If we look at the network diagram, we'll see that on the right here, we have the TC router, which acts as the client in the VPN setup. And we see that the client network is 192.168.0.0 24. The TC router also has a dynamic IP address on the WAN. The TCM guard conversely acts as a server in this example. The server network is then 192.168.1.0/24. The M guard now has a public static IP address associated to the WAN port which is 166.130.95.55. Standard data plans do not come with a public static IP address. If you would like to create a VPN tunnel, you will need to purchase a public static IP address from your cellular provider or have a private APN set up with them. We will also need some certificates. In this example, I created a public and private certificate for both the MGuard and the router. If you need help creating certificates, we have a guide that can be found on the Phoenix Contact website. First, we will start by setting up the TC router. I will open a web browser and I will enter the default IP address of the TC router, which is 192.168.0.1. Log into the web based manager. The default username and password are both admin and admin. First thing I'd like to check before I start with the VPN setup is to make sure that my TC router has an active internet connection. This can be viewed by going to status and then radio. In this example, I see that my packet data says LTE online, which means I am actively connected to the internet and I have good signal at negative 65 dBm. If you have poor signal, I'd recommend adding a second antenna or moving the router closer to a window to help improve the connection. So now we will go down to VPN and create an IPsec VPN. Let's start with the certificates. The TCM guard is the remote device, so we will find the MGuard certificate that we have, mguard.crt, open and apply. We'll see that the certificate was successfully installed. Go down, click certificates again. We can now see the mguard.crt listed under remote certificates. Now we will need to load our own private certificate, which will be the tcrouter.p12. Enter the password for it. In my case, it's Phoenix123 and click apply. And we'll see that the certificate has been accepted and we can click here again and see that both certificates have now been entered into the TC router software. So now we'll go back to the menu and we'll go to IPsec connections. I'm going to rename this first one to TCM guard VPN. Click apply and I will click edit for settings. I want to enable the VPN. I'm going to use the X.509 certificates. For the remote certificate, I'll choose the mguard.crt, and for the local certificate, I will choose tcrouter.p12. If we remember back from the network diagram, the TC mguard network was 192.168.1.0/24, and the TC router local network was 192.168.0.0/24. The TC router will actually initiate the connection, so I want to change the remote connection to initiate, and this now gives me the option to enter a remote host. This will be the public static IP address of the TCM guard. In our case, it is 166.130.95.55, and I'll click apply. The TC router takes the VPN settings and I can now move over to the IKE settings. In this example, I will choose AES-256 for the phase one encryption and SHA-1 for the hash. I will also choose AES-256 and SHA-1 for the phase two encryption and hash. We can leave all the other settings as default and click apply. That completes the setup for the TC router VPN. We can view the status by going to status and then IPsec status. This will show us that we have a VPN configuration created, 
However, the VPN is not established yet. To do so, we'll need to set up the mGuard. Open a new tab and enter the default IP address of the mGuard, which is 192.168.1.1. Log into the mGuard. The default username is admin, and the default password is mGuard with a capital G. First, I want to check to make sure that I have an active internet connection. I can do this by going to network, mobile network, and I can see that the mobile network interface is online. The mobile network connection stat is online, and I have good signal. I can also go to interfaces, and I can see that the external IP address of the mGuard is that public static IP address that I've tied to the SIM card. Now that I know I have an active internet connection, we can work on setting up the VPN tunnel. First, we're gonna to go to authentication and we're gonna to go to certificates. Here, we're gonna add the machine certificate. Click plus, create a new name called mGuard. We'll find the mGuard.p12 private certificate for the mGuard, enter the password for it and upload the certificate. Then navigate over to IPsec VPN, click connections and create a new VPN connection. The initial mode will be started. We'll give it a name, TC Router VPN, and let's click Edit. The initial mode is started, and the address of the remote site VPN gateway is set to any. The connection startup is set to wait, which means it's going to wait for the TC Router to start a connection. Scroll down, and we'll get to the transport and tunnel settings. we'll see that the local network is 192.168.1.0 slash 24 and the remote network will be 192.168.0.0 slash 24. If you have any NAT rules or need for masquerading, you can apply those here. We will then move to the authentication tab. We are using the X509 certificates. We will choose the previously loaded mGuard certificate as the local certificate and then for a remote certificate, we can add that here by choosing the tcrouter.crt and click Upload. Finally, we can go to the IKE options. Set the encryption to AES-256 and SHA-1 for the hash so that our settings match those of the TC router. Leave all the other settings as default. Let's make sure that we save our settings now so that the configuration can apply. Finally, we can go over to IPsec, over IPsec connections, and we can watch the connection establish. We can verify the connection from the check marks for both the ISACAMP SA and the IPsec SA. We can also verify that the connection has started with the TC router by going back to the TC router webpage, clicking status, IPsec status, and now we can see that we have green check marks for the TC router showing that the VPN has established between both products. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks.